Hey everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. In this video I will show you how to make a granny square bag, which is made out of one big square. The written pattern can be found on my website, I will put the link in the description below. If this is the first time you're watching my videos, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button. This way you will receive notifications when I upload new free patterns. For this bag you will need 3 balls of Lion Brand UME, hook size 10mm and some wooden handles. In round 1 we will start with our magic ring. And we will chain 5, which counts as your first double crochet, and chain 2. We will work a double crochet. A chain 1. A double crochet. And chain 2. We will do this two more times, so we work a double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain two, and again one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. Chain 2. Now work a double crochet, chain 1, slip stitch in the third chain, and slip stitch into the corner. In round 2 we will start with a puff stitch and for this square we will make a puff stitch by pulling up 5 loops in total. So then we chain 2, work another puff stitch into the corner, chain 1 and repeat the following across. One puff in the next chain space. And a chain one. In the corners we will work a puff stitch, chain two and another puff stitch. Repeat this till the end of the round. We will end with a slip stitch in the first puff stitch and a slip stitch into the corner. In round 3 we will chain 5 which counts as a double crochet and 2 chains and work 2 more double crochet stitches into the corner. We work a double crochet in the next puff stitch and repeat the following till the end. 2 double crochet in the next chain space, and 1 double crochet in the next puff stitch. Repeat this till the next corner. In 
In the corner, we will work two double crochet. Chain two, two double crochet. Now repeat this till the end of the round. We will end with a double crochet in the corner. A slip stitch in the third chain. And a slip stitch into the corner. In round 4 you will chain 5, which counts as your first double crochet and 2 chains. And then we work a double crochet, chain one, one double crochet into the corner. Skip the next two stitches and repeat the following till the end. One double crochet, chain one, one double crochet and skip the next two stitches. In the next corner we will work a double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, then we chain two to create the corner and work another one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet into the corner. Repeat this till the end of the round. At the end we will work a double crochet, and a chain one into the corner, and slip stitch in the third chain, and slip stitch into the corner. Now repeat row 2, 3 and 4 until round 12 or until the square meshes 23 inches. Do not fasten off because we will continue working on the sides but first we are going to add some fabric lining. It's quite easy and it really adds a finishing touch to the back, so I highly recommend adding a fabric lining.
After adding the fabric lining, continue working on the sides of the back. In round 13, we will chain 1 and work a single crochet in the corner. Now we are going to single crochet 2 stitches together until the end. At the end we will work 2 stitches together, which means we work the last stitch and the corner together. In row 14 we will chain 1 and work a single crochet in each stitch across. At the end we turn our work. Now repeat this two more times, so in row 15 and 16 we will work a single crochet in each stitch across. At the end of row 16 we will fasten off and weave in the ends. Repeat this on the other side of the square. Do not fasten off because we will continue working on the first mouth and handle. In row 13 we will work a chain and work a single crochet in the next two rows. We work a single crochet in the corner and we work 4 single crochet stitches together until the end of the row. At the end we have 3 stitches left, so we work the last 3 stitches together, then we work a single crochet in the corner and a single crochet in the last 2 rows. At the end we turn our work. In row 14 we will work a single crochet in each stitch across. And we repeat this 4 more times. At the end of row 18 we will fasten off and leave a long tail end for sewing the handle to the purse. Repeat this on the other side of the square. Now fold the mouth around the handle and sew together with a tapestry needle. I will now show you how to do it. And that's it! I hope you guys liked this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which yarn and colors you are going to use. Hope to see you next time, bye!